as I'm out and about at the moment, it is autumn in Australia. And if you live in a place that experiences autumn or fall, uh, one of the first things that come to mind probably are the changing colours of the trees and the dropping of their leaves. But <laughs> why do trees change colour? And why do they drop their leaves? And why don't all trees lose their leaves? I've already spoken about how trees are pretty cool. It was actually the very first video that I posted on this channel and I thought considering the changing of seasons, it's time to make a new video about them. When autumn hits, many trees will start to change. Some go yellow or orange, others purple or red and they'll drop their leaves. But why do they do this? First, we need to talk about what the cold does to a plant. Temperatures below zero degrees Celsius cause water to freeze. For a plant, this is a big problem. Plants are made up mostly of water and water in freezing leaves will destroy and kill the cell. More than that is that in certain places that get very, very cold, the water in the soil will also freeze, meaning that roots aren't able to take it into the plant and therefore they can't transpire and they can't photosynthesize. Photosynthesis being the chemical reaction that occurs in the leaves of a plant that turns carbon dioxide and light and water into sugars that the plant can use as energy. In addition to water being unavailable, the optimal conditions for photosynthesis to occur are between 10 degrees Celsius and 34 degrees Celsius. When it gets too cold or too hot, photosynthesis just kind of stops. So for many plants to keep their leaves, which are using energy to be kept alive, that aren't able to receive water, aren't able to photosynthesize, and will likely die over the winter anyway, well, there isn't really much point. What many trees native to areas that experience these very cold conditions have done to adapt to winter's harsh environment is that they drop their leaves. And there is not a lot of point in keeping them on the plant over the winter. So when the plant detects cooler temperature as well as less light during the day, during the change of seasons, they will drop their leaves in a process called abscission, where they will seal it off where it attaches to the branch and it'll make it fall. So that's why they drop them. But why do they change colour? The answer is really interesting. First, we need to know why leaves are green. Well, the green colour in plants comes from chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is a compound in plant cells, especially in the leaves, which makes the photosynthesis chemical reaction happen. The colour of chlorophyll is green, which is why plants are green. <laughs> Chlorophyll takes energy for a plant to produce, and it takes resources as well. One of the ingredients in chlorophyll is nitrogen. And nitrogen is taken from the soil and then used by the tree. It's an extremely valuable chemical, and the plant doesn't want to waste it. So, because its leaves are going to drop, the plant wants to do what it can to store the nutrients that it can then use to regrow the leaves in the spring and make more chlorophyll. The tree causes the chlorophyll to be broken down, which also allows them to reabsorb as much nitrogen that was in the chlorophyll from the leaves and keep it in the wood as they can so that it can be used in the next season. So the leaves turn from a green to something else as the chlorophyll is broken down. There are a few other chemicals that are at play here. The first is carotenoids. These are chemicals that help plants absorb light to be used for photosynthesis and they are yellow and orange in colour. Carotenoids are usually masked by the green chlorophyll and when the green chlorophyll gets broken down, a lot of the carotenoids remain in the leaves and now, unmasked, cause the leaves to be yellow or orange and it's not unlike actually what happens when fruit ripens, as I went into detail in my pineapple video. Another chemical present that many lit plant leaves will have is anthocyanin. Anthocyanin is a chemical that is usually red or purple, maybe even blue, that plants use to protect themselves from too much sun. In fact, I have a number of friends in the houseplant community who sun stress their plants to make them turn more red or purple, and that is because of the anthocyanin. Similar to carotenoid, anthocyanin is masked by the green of chlorophyll, which is why when chlorophyll breaks down, these colours can become visible. 
This is also why some trees will have different colours at different times, as the yellow and orange carotenoids and the red and purple anthocyanin break down at different rates, you'll get different colours. But if you look around me, not all of the trees are changing colour. Why? Well, the ones that we saw before are not native to Australia. They've come from places that get far colder in winter, hence their changing of colours and dropping of leaves. But why don't the rest of these drop their leaves? There are a couple of reasons. So I live in Australia and I'll talk about our trees in a minute. But first, there are trees, conifers as an example, that live in places that get very, very cold and yet they keep their leaves year round. And if you looked at a conifer, you'll notice a difference in the leaves. Their needles instead of these big broad leaves that we see in other trees that are much thinner. These are waxy and are constructed differently and the trees want them to last for many years, they're quite hard to produce. They produce chemicals called cryoprotectants which lower the freezing point in the water in their cells so that these very very cold temperatures don't cause the cells in the leaves to die. But what about other trees? In Australia a plant is actually better off being evergreen. Australia, geologically speaking, is very, very old and not, hasn't been very much tectonic activity that revitalises the soil in a very long time. So we have very poor nutrition in our soils. So trees need to use their energy wisely and dropping leaves to regrow them the next year is just well, a lot of work. Then there's how most places in Australia don't get that cold, photosynthesis will likely slow, but we don't get the very cold temperatures that you see in some other parts of the world. Those about outside of Australia makes you be surprised to hear that we do have regions that get snowy and we do get frosts. Some of our trees will die in certain cold conditions, but the ones that live in the cold regions that get snow are well adapted and are able to tolerate the freezing temperatures with their thick hard leaves and the cryoprotectant chemicals within them. Australia has one temperate deciduous native, the deciduous beech, which lives in Tasmania. I'm not going to discuss our deciduous trees that live in hot regions and drop some or all of their leaves to protect themselves from very, very hot and dry weather. <laughs> that is a topic for another time. There are many other trees that come from tropical and subtropical regions where the temperatures are pretty consistent year round or where they you know, stay warm enough that they don't need to bother or they just keep their leaves because there's no point in getting rid of them because they can stay all year round without risk of dying. So deciduous trees drop their leaves to conserve energy over the winter. They change colour because the green chlorophyll is broken down so that nutrients can be reabsorbed for the next season, leaving other compounds in the leaf, carotenoids and anthocyanin, to make the leaves yellow, orange, red or purple in colour. Thank you for watching this video. I really love how diverse the plant life on our planet is and all the different strategies and adaptations they have to survive. Some of it is very visually beautiful as well. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know what you thought in the comments and with that like button. And if you want to see more videos where I dive into topics that inspire in me a sense of curiosity and wonder, please consider subscribing to That's Pretty Cool. Thanks again for watching. Take care, stay curious, and we'll see you next time.